Today I'm going to show you how to take cuttings from chrysanthemums. To take cuttings of the chrysanthemum, I want to get a nice long stretch or stem. I'm going to use the harder part of the cutting. I'm going to cut the lower node on the bottom of the stem. Pull off the lower leaves. No more than 10 centimeters long. I then continue to remove the leaves until I have the leaves on top remaining. So I'll pop that in a jar of water and it'll start to get roots formed from the bottom and they'll get, get growths forming from the nodes at the top of the plant. So I'll repeat this process. Now the reason that I remove the lower leaves as I'm doing this is it prevents water stress on the cuttings uh, once I pot them up. So these ones here will be placed in a jar of water once I'm done. So it's not a big issue when they're popped in a jar, but it will be very handy once they're potted up with a small root system later on. So here's some cuttings we've prepared earlier. You can see on the bottom of these cuttings we've got a little bit of callusing starting to appear on a few of them. Uh, that's the little white bumps that you will see. The roots will start to form from this callusing. So once we get some hormones fueling some root growth, these calluses that we see here will start to turn into roots that we see on these cuttings here. So these ones are a couple of weeks old. So what we're going to do is keep them in water for another two weeks and we'll start to pot them up once we get some more significant root growth. So you can see our chrysanthemums have shot some nice healthy roots. I'm going to pot the first one of these up uh, just to give you an idea of how it's done. So we'll just grab our most productive root system out. So you can see in this pot I've dibbled a hole that is well and truly deep enough. Uh, it is big, the whole root ball will fit inside that hole. So all I need to do now is just gently move the soil in over the top of those roots. So I'm doing this one one-handed so I can film it for you. But it really is a gentle process because we don't want to snap those roots. Now what I would do with this guy now is he needs a really good water to push the water around those roots. So what I'll do is I'll give it a light water from the top and then I'm going to sit it in a tub of water and I'll just let the water wick up from the bottom. So this one here is a few months on. It started to get some new growth around the edges. You can see some new growth uh, like these new buds started to appear. I recommend you pull those ones off. Uh, when you see them on new plants so that they can focus on root growth and some shoot growth I'm just going to remove this one from the pot uh, and we'll have a look at how the root system has progressed I can't actually show you the one that I showed you in the video I gave a couple away to my dad and one to the postage lady or the parcel lady the other day when she showed up at the front door so I'll show you this one here that was made at the same time you can see quite a large amount of roots here at the bottom you can see they're quite hardy plants because I wouldn't do this to any old plant but it's got quite a well developed root system below the stem uh, and this one will end up flourishing into a nice, nice healthy chrysanthemum. I don't recommend doing this to any plants but I just wanted to show you the progress after a couple of months so good luck with your chrysanthemum cuttings uh, and as the weather warms you'll get a nice productive chrysanthemum plant if you follow these steps.